no, it's, it's I'd just. I'd rather than just not It's say just, anything. it is, it I'm is. No yeah. I'm not sure. Well, that's, that's, that's the trouble, you see, because that's it. It's like with, your, with our heightened awareness, the answer is not to say anything, isn't it? But it isn't, because, I mean, we screw each other up totally when we don't do that, because we're not ready for your yeah, heightened <laughs> vows of silence. We're really <laughs> not ready. We don't know what the fuck each other's talking about. Well, you know, we all just sort of get... The four of you, so that's mm. what I but, say. Oh, yeah, right, yeah. But, but, see, that's it. That's why John doesn't say anything. Because <laughs> he, you know, he just... That's, that was, there was something the other day. I just said, so what do you think? And he just sort of didn't say anything. You know. And I, I know exactly why, you know. I mean, I wouldn't if... Somehow, you know, there's, there's, there's nothing really much to be said about it. Just, we all want to do it. All right, so. so there's all that talking about it. But, but if one of us is talking about it, it's a drag of the other three aren't. You know, because then it's sort of This is roll 129, slate 227, camera A. So, I mean, we've just been talking about it now for a few years, you know. Like How this, long has she been around? In the lucky year. But that's not it anyway. It's the four of them just getting together. But that's not, that's not, that's not far off it, you know. I mean, what? I mean, it, you know, Yoko's very much to do with it, you know. Because she's yeah. very much to do with it from John's angle. That's the thing, you know. And, I, and, the, and the, the thing is, like, there's, a, there's a, again, like, a, always only two answers. One is to fight it and yeah, fight her sure. and try and get the Beatles back to four people without Yoko and sort of ask Yoko to sit down at the board meetings. Mm. Or else the other meeting is to, uh, the other thing is just to realise she's there, you know. And he's not going to sort of split with her just for our sakes. You know, and then, and, but not, uh, then it's not even so much of an obstacle then, as long as we're not trying to surmount it. Mm. Now, while we're still trying to get over it, it's an obstacle. But it isn't really, it's not that bad, you know. But they want to stay together, those two, you know. So it's all right, let the young lovers stay together, you know. But it, it shouldn't be... Can't right. operate under these conditions, boy. But, you know, we're coming out. It's like, it's like that. We're, like, we're striking. That's what it is. It's like a strike, because con work conditions aren't right, you know. But yeah, mm. it's not that bad. <laughs> but he, he knows that, doesn't he? John knows that, yeah. sure. But, but does he's, he talk about it at all? No, but he's... I mean, he's... See, we've done a lot of Beatles now. We've had a lot of Beatles, you know. And we've, you know, we've got a lot out of people, so that it, I think John's saying now, obviously it came to a push between Yoko and the Beatles, it's Yoko, you know. Good stay. Oh, sure. But funny enough, the other day when we were talking, he said that he really did not want not to be a Beatle. He no, said he no. really looked forward not to, you know, in other words, he didn't want that screwed up. Mm. Yeah, but it's a difficult one, that, you know. Yeah. I think in their discussions, though, when as soon as you brought that out, up, John Turner said, see, I told you. I think it's one of those things where he... Oh, they, they do it. They tell each other when yeah, they get back home. Yeah, but I bet he said to her, you know, when I write, just sort of go away when I'm with Paul. But she said, oh, yeah. It's that kind of thing. I don't know. I don't know, that's what well, I... Yes, I think a lot of people get to got the impression that whenever John talks these days, it's... <laughs> Like how Yoko was talking to him. Yeah. Or he shuts up and that's uh, does do it for yeah. him and if that becomes yeah. a dream person, mm. not, sure. not yeah. ever like talking to him like I'm talking to you now, but you know I'm talking to Paul and I'm not talking to Linda. Right. Right. You know, but when you're talking to John you always these days anyway tend to think that you're talking to Yoko mm. more than you're talking to John. And that's you're why I say writing a song with him. Yes. Yeah, it's a bit embarrassing because oh, I do think it's sort of... What? Oh, yeah, I start examining my motives with Yoko oh, there. Is that a chicken joke? Well, it's probably <laughs> silly, you know. It's probably silly because, like... You should get some pizza out of your house. What we're also thinking she is, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. 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 She's eight, eight cats to feed on eight cats. Yeah, no, she wouldn't. She no, she isn't. That's See, that's the thing. That's yeah. The only one time we've done it. And I have to occasionally. She really is all right. <laughs> yeah. It's like it's the thought of her being there <coughs> and sort of... And that then you don't talk to John. So then he doesn't talk to you, you know. Um, is that it's like... Is that you can screw it up just as much because she's there. Yeah. Mm. As, as John's yeah. 
relying on her because she's Jason there, is only interested you know but I mean like if you noticed if John if you're not yeah. yeah. being with John about to something grab him. it really isn't so you know he'd let you go talk about it because yeah, he knows that that you're on the beam and he knows about it you, <laughs> you can talk straight <laughs> It's like we did I Will, and we tried, we were trying to get the last verse to I Will, and eventually I just ended up doing it because we couldn't actually do it. But uh, I mean, Yoko really tried to stay out of it, just sort of got on with something. But she just really, you know, they, they're onto that thing, they just want to be near each other. You know? So you, it, I just think it's just silly of me or anyone to try and mm. say to them, no, you can't. You know? It's nice. like, because okay, you know, they, they, they're going overboard about it. But John always does, you know, and Yoko probably always does. So that's their scene. You can't go saying, you know, don't go overboard about this thing, you know, be sensible about it and don't bring it to meetings. You know, it's his decision. Mm. That it's none, none of our business to like, interfere in that. Even when it comes into our business, still can't really say much. Unless except look, I don't like it, John. You know, then he can say, well screw you or I like it or well I won't do it so much or blah blah blah. Like that's the only way, you know, to tell John about. It. Have you done that already? Well, I told him I didn't like writing songs. Were you writing together much more before she came around? Oh yeah, Or sure. you cooled it a bit then, before her. Before you. Yeah, cooled it. it cooled it. Cooled it sure. Yeah. We'd cooled it because not playing together. Ever since we didn't play together. Yeah, on stage, you mean? Yes, you we went because because I mean, we lived together when we played together. We were in the same hotel, up at the same time every morning, doing this all day. Mm. And this, I mean, this, you know, you, it doesn't matter what you do like this, as long as you're this close all day, something grows, you know, mm -hmm. something grows. And then when you're not this close all day, just physically, something goes. Right. So then you can come together to record and stuff. But you still sort of lose the... Actually, musically, you know, we've, we're really... We, we can play better than we've ever been able to play, you know. Mm. Uh, you know, I'd really think that. I think like <laughs> we're, we're, we're all right on that. It's just that being together thing, you know. Mm. You know, I mean, as like I said yesterday, underestimating each other's work and uh, talking down to each other a bit. And playing safe with each other. Yeah, playing mm. safe and a nice sort of steady retirement. Yeah, you know. a bit mm. It's all of that, you know. But see, the, the only thing I thought about that, which is again difficult, because like you were saying yesterday, it's my opinion, this is my opinion how the Beatles should be. <laughs> you know, which yeah. is it's all like an offer. Yeah. Uh, is that I thought we should just work a lot, you know, really, really get back into that sort of, into the slog, mm. you know. Really just, I mean, a job. Well, almost nine to five, nine to five. Because yeah. I know when I talked to John. And then weekends off, so that there really are weekends. Then back on the slog, and, you know, cursing that's what, it. That's what he was saying. Drags and the ups and the downs, but the work. achievements and no, the... It makes you work. Because John was saying the fact that you do work inspires you. That's what he was saying. Like, I, mean, I remember when they were doing the album, George was saying that. It's so great working again. Working, because you don't get inspired sitting at home reading the papers. You've actually got to work and get out of the slog. At the ages of 20, everybody would be great. In the group thing, you, you're doing all those other things. When you're together, you mean? No, when you're at home. When you're at home, it's the same. When you're together and you're actually in a studio working, Inspiration comes less out of work less always, less I think. The reason. As oh, opposed yeah. to Especially if you've got it inside of you. Yeah. Yeah. Especially, the, I mean, I can just see the age of 20 something just yeah, sort of blah blah. That you just, you just and doing all that. Mm. get well, fat and to sit on your television. Well, no, on. Yeah. Yeah. That's the thing. No, I don't, I don't, but you know, I, I really that agree with that. You know, I'm, I'm straight, I'm that from Ireland too. That thing of realising what you, know, you are, none of us you know. realise that we're as great as we are. And if we were in a northern band, you know, I'd put my foot down. We're all But like, we've grown out of all that. And you can't go, you know, we really can't go to any job. Thing, you well, know, John, the union yeah, thinks that the Beatles are you can't have this musically. I think she does. Sure she I does, still but, think you know, it's that up way. To them, you know, it really music, is. You know, I agree. It's difficult. That, mm. But I, I mean, really do think that's their decision. Great, you know, I, I think just can't see it. It's like it's like with kids. You know, if if a kid's doing that, doing a naughty thing, really, or something you think's naughty, you really got to leave them to the foundation. Tell them not to. You know, and you've screwed it. I just went think, over and said, well, I couldn't agree with you. Anymore. I will. No, 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 do I. Because, yeah. well, yeah, I mean, it's like John's album cover, you know. All of us thought, well, why did he do it? But it ended up with the answer being, well, why not? Mm. Ethan, you better take this. That's the trouble, you know, that we... 
Uh, yeah, take those pictures. As you never know. <laughs> yeah, it was, there goes one of them. <laughs> and you can go on to it like that all your life. Yeah. But it's... But there's still got to be that, the, the compromise. Yeah. On the line somewhere. Yeah. You know? Well, that's, that's what I'm trying to do with the John Joker thing, you know. Not, not to do just... Uh, but it takes two to compromise. Yeah. Well, I think, you see, I t yeah, okay, so we go on talking like this forever, but I think for, for them to be able to compromise, I have to be able to compromise first. Then they'll be able to, or else they have to be able to compromise first. And that. But it's, it's silly, neither of us compromising. Yeah, but, for, but it's, it's it is at is least one stage if better. If I can start to compromise, then maybe they can feel that they'll bend a little for me then. Yeah, but if her being around so much has caused a lot of the oh, trouble, that you're compromising already. And you've made a lot of your compromise. You know what I mean? What, by, yeah, by, by, by the, by the right, yeah. omnipresence. I think it's because we've thought that the only alternative would be for John just to say, OK, well, I'll see you then. You know, and we've not wanted that to happen. No. It's, just, it's incredible, though. I mean, we hustle each other like mad, you know. We, uh, we probably do need, really, sort of a central daddy figure to say, <clears throat> you know, nine o'clock. None of the girls. <laughs> Maybe girls at home, lads. Mm. You know, we all say, all right. <laughs> I don't know, we might, though. Never know. But work is work. Yeah. What did you say? It wouldn't work. But it's going to be such an incredible sort of comical thing, like in 50 years' time, you know. Mm. They broke up because Yoko sat on an amp. You know? <laughs> <laughs> or just something like this. What? Well, see, John kept bringing this girl along. What? <laughs> it's not as though there's any sort of earth sp splitting rounds. But it is, like Linda was saying, it really there's is wrong, really. terribly sort of dispiriting if it doesn't get together. It really is. Just music. Wise. Yeah, I mean, just for the. That's the thing, you know. That's the lack turn on of that the radio. Music. Yeah, the lack of. God, it, I mean, it's an event when the Beatles album comes, out. or it's even a single. It's just an event. I mean, it, to turn on the radio. <laughs> so, you know, this is fan number it's one. It's like people fan listen more to that than when Johnson gives a speech. Mm. You know, it's just people listen. What do you say? I was talking to Neil last night about an idea that I thought was really for, a, for a TV show. But he sort of really put the, finished the idea off, which Good. is <laughs> made it no what made it, it sensational. Mm. Which is uh, or <laughs> that, that while we were rehearsing the show ourselves, we should have alongside us someone sort of near, so that we're getting the same kind of buzz. Mm. But we're completely independent. We should get like uh, say the editor of the Daily Mirror. Mm. You'd have to get someone as good as him, a yeah. real hard news nut, rehearsing a team of really hard, incredible newsmen mm. with films, writing, so on, so on, so on, so on, so that on the night of the show, in between all our songs is news, but the fastest and the hottest from every corner of the earth. And we just heard that you know, there's been an earthquake and so on, so on. Film and, you know, just like incredible news in between each thing. So yes. it's like a red hot news program. Mm. And, um, and at the end, the final bulletin is the, Brit the Beatles have broken up. Nice. Nice, but nice. <laughs> nice, but not nice. Thanks, but no thanks. <laughs> but I mean, you know, that would be an incredible show, because like, that news thing. It should yeah. be live, that show. With our music. It's another one. Because then he's telling me. It should be live, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was the other thing. And then that got into then uh, a come dancing link up. <laughs> where we just have <laughs> competition, you know, with all our songs. And this is a slow foxtrot. <laughs> you know that program? Eugene Quill. Yes. <laughs> and they all sort of get prizes for it. But do you think if you put any... Um, <coughs> that live link-up thing, I think, it's is very great. exciting. I love the idea that satellite shows. Yeah, that's great. See, because if you did have people just sort of... That live link-up, you don't have to have anyone on the end of the line. The other end. Plus, then I you mean, can you just don't have to have anyone special. It can be anyone who's yeah, the in the studio. Live. The fact that you've moved over to Houston now is what's. And it can just be sort of. Well, like that, that show that well, you need his love on. Howdy right. Europe. Which some <laughs> of them wasn't <laughs> that good, but the That's fact what they that did on that big Astrodome. Oh, great. Yeah. Where they I got just remember the in, fishery you know. in Japan. Now it was a whole other month or something. Yeah, 
That's great because the time's different in every Probably place. Probably yeah. Houston, Houston and Australia is cold in Australia. Yeah. Mm. And the traffic jam in France. Serious crew cut in bull neck. Houston, Amsterdam. Plus then the beetle thing could be so simple. Just then, you know, you mm. didn't have to get your sunset. But do you think if you put any uh, pressure on him that he'd go your way a bit more? Who's this? Onto John. I don't know. But I'm not, you know, I can't bother doing all that. Mm. 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 Do you want to try and ring John? Trying. But the thing is, the four of you, mm -hmm. the four of them just talking about it. Did you, did you not talk about it much last night? Well, there were just too many people. Mm -hmm. 2.29, camera A. John didn't talk, so you said Yoga talked for John. Yeah, well, did George stay? Oh, well then, in the middle of all Hopefully. that, actually, George went. But he was waiting for it to start, you know, that's why it's stuck in there. Mm. But when he saw it wasn't, the thing is, like, a meeting without Yoko just once, I'm sure. I don't think we'll ever get that. You don't really? See, that's it, that's you know. It is, that is a big sort of crunch, that. You'd that have, to, you'd have to say to John, and then, and yeah. then it's going to be, well, I'm not doing it, or I am doing it, whichever way it goes. But if he's decided he wasn't, then that would be that. Yeah. You've got to make it some way again, face-wise, if you can appear without her. And you've almost got to, you've almost got to uh, drug her herb tea or something, and put her away for a minute or two. <laughs> it's just that's so hard when it's face involved. Those wily Orientals, the yellow pair. <laughs> Yeah, I think he'd do it, but I don't think she'd do it. Mm. Mm. See, but their point is that they, they're trying to like be as near together as they can. For their own truth and everything. Yeah, for everything. Like, so that if she sits over here, it's just slightly less good than if she's sitting that near, very near to him. And if she's touching him, then that's even better, you know, and it's like that. So that, okay, she's prepared to sit here. That's then. There's the beginning of the rock. Then, then she stay at home the next day while he comes. You know, and they see it like that. You know. They see it that the more they can stay together, and it's right in a way. I, you know, I mean, if that's how you see it, then you can see that it'd be a drag to, 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 for people to start saying, "Well, look, come to the meeting without it." You know, we're going to talk without it, because then it starts separating you again from her, which is like it, see, it's very ideological. Which is, you know, probably how it I'm all be. for that. I mean, I, I mean, if that's what they want to do, it's just that if it screws everything else up for everybody else, then they got to think about it. Well, I don't know, you know. See, they, they'd say that the other way that... The, that you have to yes, adjust the other way is true, yeah. That, um, you know, if <coughs> we do what we want to do, it might screw it up for them, you know. And they don't want to be screwed up. Mel's trying to win. Yeah. Who's permanently engaged? Permanently engaged. Send a telegram. Kelly's on pins and needles wondering what's happening. <sighs> yeah, I thought of that last one. Send a telegram. Did anybody speak to him last night? Does that come? No, it didn't say that last yeah. night. Maybe if she stayed in the, in the black bag, that would count. This is roll 130, <laughs> slate 229 <laughs> continued. Two. <laughs> <laughs> Tom and Jerry. 
Simon Garfunkel. Uh, no, I said it because you told me. Yeah. What? Simon Garfunkel used to be Tom oh, and Jerry. Oh, I know. Hey, school boy. He used to be Tom hey, and Jerry. I think it's so cute. That's what they used to call themselves. Yeah. yeah. And they had that hit. Hey, schoolgirl. Yeah, I think so. It was a big hit. Yes, it was, and then they went to Columbia University. And then they Not female. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, it was Freaked one of out. those... Um, <coughs> it was one like those, a Jan and Dean Yes, yeah, it was, was post-Danny uh, the Junior. Hey, little yeah. schoolgirl. Yeah. yeah. I think so. I'm sure you've heard. It's a blues number. Uh, yeah. If we were going to take a ship's pool on what our communal life is going to be in the next two weeks, what are we all betting? I think we see the end of this weekend. And, when and something will have happened, definitely. Even I mean, if it's only I, nothing. Yeah, yeah. right. Which is then we'll say, well, we don't come day. in next week, and we sort of chuck it. Or we come in next week, and we sort of say, we make it next and week. And then, then we send the guys off to Africa. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, you know, I mean, we, this, uh, this, you know, this is the, we've well, stopped the we clock should. now. We've got to stop the clock while this is all down. going on. Like, this isn't c cancel counted. What? We should cancel that. 18th day, because it should definitely be the 19th. I mean, already, because we're going to lose today. But that's so every day you lose, it will go back a day. Well, I, you know what I was thinking. That yeah, I think you know something like that. It still give us the same that? amount of time. Well, what I thought, you know, what I really thought. Yeah, but it, it's, it's can you cancel um, Intertel? It means we do have to go out to the country to do it from there. Uh, that's what I mean. So. No, well, I think we can make a deal there. But I, I, what I thought is that, that uh, because Maureen was so keen, we go away the other day. I thought we, <laughs> we, we, we should put it off a week and do it the following weekend, and we'd have it together by then. <coughs> and if we were to go away, we'd go away for six days or something and get it. I do it. With totally me. We should do yes, it after yeah. chatting oh. over two. Girls, what you don't think they should go? Away? No. I don't see any. Point I don't really see any point <coughs> anymore. Well, there's eight of us who didn't see any point. Yeah. So and. Luckily, we're the Beatles who don't see any point. But, 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 but. No, <laughs> no, but. So there's, there's, great, like there's, there's those great comedy lines, you know, there's great kind of 40s comedies where they cut to the, the, the loser <laughs> sitting there <laughs> saying, but, 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 you're all wrong, you're all wrong. A big hot dog in his mouth. Up. You're screwing yourselves up. The no. show's so beautiful. Especially that news thing, you do it right here. Well, I'll oh, yeah. do the show right here. It's, uh, listen, it really is just the Beatles. I promise. You think you need to break it up, but you just. Mm. Don't. I really, I think so. I think she's right. No, but it will be just the Beatles. But yeah, yeah but you see, like I think, I think we're getting the wrong angle on that. I mean, <clears throat> they may not even be the Beatles. You know, so just if it is, then like I really do think, like, uh, with the circus, it looked, it didn't look right. I know it was a bad print and everything, but like I didn't ever really get into any one of the Who. Ever, you know. I mean, it was the event all the time. It was the sort of event, and no one digs that. You know, the, that's over the sort of event. I think. You know, I think it really is now. If you've got, if you're trying to show him, you know, I just really say, just stick it yeah. on him. You know, really, yeah, and and leave it, and then maybe come back in a thing. But stay on him. You know, for as long as he's done his bit, whole bit, and not just sort of take his excellent little movement. You know, when he sort of does that, because that's great. But you know, he does that, and then he does that, and then he does that, and then he does that, and it's all great, you know. But that's that's all that, that's what you want to see of Ringo, I think. And all that to music. A study, you know, you just want a to study. A study, yeah, it really is. Really like it. It's like, see, you said the thing about yeah. Picasso <laughs> paints. <laughs> but that's this. No, but it's even the show still, you know. Picasso paints he when the painting, the paintings, the the paintings they didn't sort of fast cut the paintings or anything. He just sort of painted them, you know, and they showed how it built up, and they stayed on it, you know. And it's like that, you know, this is, you yeah. use that analogy, yeah. and these songs are going to be our paintings at the end of it. And it really, you know, you really are going to have to show, because that's what I thought about the Who's thing. Like, but you know, yeah, those, you know, you, but a brilliantly you lit thing, very, very bright lights, so that you see every detail mm. about him, instead of a sort of moody th things, you know, really, totally bright lit, with everything, you know, I mean, it hardly needs scenery or anything. Really should all be about him and his drum kit. Look at that drum kit. Mm. You know, it really looks great. And it's, that's, that's all. It says it all. Yes. And then John, his amp, his guitar, actually sitting there doing it at that minute. You know, I really think... I, but it's, I think if you start going in that direction then, then I think, you know, you might think of a, a great idea. Oh, incidentally, mm. uh, you know, we think it should all be done in a black bag or something. You know. 
Yeah, but well, either, but I was going to say you can't compare the two because the, the circus was designed as an event. I mean, it's a different concept yeah, yeah. because that's what you see. What just that story was the Rolling Stones needed a family show, and Mick wanted a family show. He said he, what Mick said he wanted was Ed Sullivan without Ed Sullivan. And it's much harder to make the Rolling Stones a family proposition than it is to make you a family proposition. So that's what, that's what we had to make that an event, mm. the circus. And they stayed the Rolling Stones in a family show, which is a very hard thing to pull off. It's, it's, you've got a different problem. Mm. Well, I still think there's that thing of... But you see, yeah, what, if you're trying to cover this I for mean, I now, can, yeah. and I'd hold one camera like from But what you're all, you see, you're see, on if, them all. See, originally we're talking and about... And just see what they're, all their faces did, you know, and i just one leave on it. Each, you know. one of them, and then one I certainly wouldn't go, cut, 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 no, cut, no, because then... Anyway, but it's, you're talking Andy Warhol. Everybody's talking Andy Warhol. No, it's oh. not. No, I'm not. You no, are. Michael, no. come on now. You're talking the other way. You know, okay, so we may be going both of them, and there's a compromise to be reached, but you've got to... You know, I'll I'm come back from the... Okay, see, that's what I was saying, that, like... Okay, if you're trying to cover Ringo now, mm. you need a shot from there to sort of see... Yeah. That thing. But, and th but then you do need, like, one here. and that. But, okay, so Andy Wall, you don't stay on that one shot. You know, you will mm. come in, as he sort of moves his head, you'll come into that or something. But don't... What, my point is, like, don't go off Ringo. Don't go off into the scenic backgrounds, you know, because who wants that? You know? no, or the audience, or the moon. It's not necessary, you know, there's... God, what you we're looking have at, it. you know, that really is, and it's not Andy Warhol, you know, it's mm. only, it's news, it's news coverage. It's like if you see a, an event happen, and the really good coverage, you know, is the shot of the fellow with the but gun to the head, and what? the fellow who got that shot, that's the fellow, and that was the man who covered the event. Nobody's but the fellow who got him. the guy on the ground afterwards with the blood coming out of his head, missed it, you know. That's it, and with all that fast cutting, you, I mean, I think I missed a lot of that who thing the other day. Just well, Pete Townsend. Now I never saw him, really. Now I th I'd really like to look at him for a long time because he fascinates yeah, me. He, you know, yeah. Pete Townsend doing all this bit, you know. Mm. But I'd like to really just see what he looks like after he's done that thing, because it always goes off him when he's done that. You know, or Keith Moon just sort of jabbering away on the drums, you know, mm. just for a whole number almost. Mm. Okay, so you're going to have to cut between the four of them. You know, but it's just that thing, you know, really sticking with it. No, and I think, I, I think I think that's is, the point of this think, show for us. To take that as an example, really? like one of the reasons, like for instance, Top of the Pops isn't good. I don't think is that they never help the act. Like you take a very wild act like The Who. Mm. If you cover it in long shot, especially on TV, which is that size, they really look like a bunch of jerks doing. They're doing. You've got to help an act. You've got to do what they're doing. Yeah. Because I'm talking about them specifically. Yeah. To use that point because. If you just take a wide shot of them kind of doing their act with, with no particular response to the audience, they do look like they're lunatics, but the wrong kind of lunatics. You've got to help yeah, that act. Right. That was the point about The Who, that you did what I was trying to do with The Who. Again, it's going to be a different concept of the show. But I think, I think this is where, now this is, no, this is the trouble, you know. I've, we've always known this, like with TV directors, you know. If it always happens. Wild, then the camera goes the wild. The camera goes wild, and it's um, wrong, man. It shouldn't be. It's the other way around. It's the, 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 the ones that stand there. The, the cameras it, you know. need to do something. It's like it's those cameramen who go. And Arthur Brown, every time yeah. he came on, yeah, you know, yeah, he got it. Because he's so wild. Digging it, man. The camera's going wild, so you didn't get anything. And you just see all this flaring. You can't see anything, you know. But it's like in a show. In a show, you know, you're just sitting there, and there's one shot. Mal said that the other day. There's only one shot of the show. Do you. No, there is. I mean, yeah, you're in life, the man, there's only no, one shot. Yes, but oh, yes, you do have your close-ups. Well, yeah, that's sure. It. You, oh, but yeah, in life, that's, but yeah. you know, that's, what, that's, what, that's what I think everybody's wrong, because you've got to think of the difference between a concert with real people and a real group and the relationship. Like, it's actors. Like, when Lawrence Olivier is on the stage, you've got a different way of dealing with him. You just you, want to see him. That's, that's when you're in the audience, seeing him on stage, because you've got the real human thing coming across. Like, when you're on stage. I but don't I don't see what you're fighting. No, I don't yeah, know. But that day in the life thing that we did. I think anyway, you as a director need to move in that direction, definitely. Or else you're going to get bogged down with your ready, steady, go image. Oh yeah, I don't want to do that. But like, yeah, I think man of our time. No, too, was, but that you know, was his fault. But look at Jude now. A bit like that. But now look at Jude. See, I was. Well, I should have had a Yeah, so was I. But you know, the comment about Jude was that when I was doing those high bits. 
You didn't no, see no, me no. do it. I know that was. It. I couldn't get. Now you see. That, I mean, I've never I mean, really I'm heard like you as a record. One, I don't leap about because you know, I'm too sort of strain yourself to stand. Subjective or whatever is. Can never be objective. But I'm sure you know those occasions I have heard that little those little screams. You know, you want to see the fellow leaping around with his hand mic doing those. But you remember when you don't want to see a post. You remember when we were playing you back? The one that was on the other night. Yeah. Well, they had that one. They've had one because when you. Yeah, yeah, just before the orchestra comes in, you do that scream. I physically couldn't get a camera on to you because yeah. I couldn't hear the talk back. Yeah. 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 That was one of the things we didn't do again. The last cutting sure. in. Yeah. No, but I mean, that I should have been on you for that. I mean, that was a mistake. But yeah. this was turned out to but be there are, there are things like, I think, you know, I mean, you've really got to... What was the drive? But, but what I mean you know, is that idea of the camera, yeah. that colour... But if there's a mad group on there... It's like if you, know, if if you can a, think... A wild group on that slow. show, the cameras go wild. Yeah. You can well, think, I mean, instead of thinking, you must keep up the pace. You can think slow. Like, we would have got the shot of the orchestra. Which, OK, I know, you know, I missed it too, you know. We all missed it. But there's a bloody big orchestra, and we missed it. Just because no one actually more, covered yeah. that shot, the, and we never took a slow amount of time to get a camera just there to shoot the whole scene as it was. You know. Now, if you'd have been thinking slow like this, you know, it is like if, if you're trying to get Ringo now. Instead of trying to get all the pace in, you're going to miss it all. You know, you've really got to just position. Uh, uh, there was a sort of excerpt on television last night, an old film, Philip Jenkins, where it came down over the rooftops of Paris. Oh, yeah. 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 Incredible shot, and I was thinking that's really what. This should all be at Twickenham. This should totally be built like like those film sets, so that you can glide all, all over the place on tracks and everything with your cameras. Go places that TV cameras don't go, you know. Mm. So that you can come down out of that roof on one long shot right from the back there and just come down on a thing, slowly, like a chair lift, right down, right into Ringo's face. On the one shot, you know, from right back there, that's, you know, it's like the old films. And then have all sorts of cranes and lifts and stuff for your cameras to float around us, you know. And just all that flowing movement and then the songs, you know. And then really just stay with us. And then that'll create your sets then. You'll have cameras hanging all over the place, like... Mm, but just then... But, but just, I, was, I mean, that idea of, like, sort of slowly getting into the thing and being careful not to miss anything... And I really do think you'll find the pace is there without you having to put it there. Because it's like with Warhol's things, he does go right to the other extreme. <coughs> but I mean, you know, he reckons there's pace in that Empire State. Yeah, but he's... But, you know, I wouldn't agree with him. I'd think it'd be boring. I mean, he's right. But I see his point. I mean, I see his point. You're pulling an extreme, though, Warhol. Like, 99% of what you say. Yeah, but... But... Well, this is good because that's the compromise right. then, the buts. I right. agree with I know I agree with what you mean, but that was what if you it say. was like if it was like Michael said all along, if it was one number or two numbers or something, but as it's 52 minutes, yeah, it's a long time to do just that with. And I know it's the Beatles and and, and all the rest of it, mm. and the Beatles are far, you know, mm -hmm. but it needs some. <laughs> Mind repeating that? <laughs> <laughs> Again. Uh, it needs some, just something else. Yeah, it would work for a lot of it. Yeah, mm. great. I agree. Mm. I, I know exactly what you mean. Well, I don't know. This, but you see, I think that's what we're going to get, though. The, the thing is, while we're saying, OK, we mustn't do that, we're, the only one we're going John. towards... Pardon? Speak to John. Yeah, OK. The only one we're going towards is uh, the same thing, only a, a fast-cut thing with scenery. And that's no, going to have to have, but that's going to have a bit of difficulty. Whatever <coughs> idea we do get, we are getting towards, it's still going to have difficulty sustaining, I think. No, oh, yes, think. exactly. I that's mean, even why. a Tunisian amphitheatre, you know. Oh. I don't know. I, that, I, that's going to be easier, because the, the trouble is, see, I, it's, like, it's like Magic Christian. They've written Ringo into Magic Christian, who's Magic Christian's son. It now, in the book, book, it wasn't in the book, and, it, and I, I don't know if it'll work, you know, but it will, actually, because... So, you know, they'll all be able to do it into a good thing. But I don't like that kind of thing. I know, don't like that underestimating what you've got, you know. Really don't. And OK, so maybe the show, we're going to have to cut it down to a half-hour show. Maybe, maybe, you know. I'd, but I'd rather do that than pad it into an exciting 50 feel, minutes. I'll talk to you about you, you going to take, I'll talk to you, you about know, it. I just can't, I feel it's, it's, like, yeah. it's like, I really can't see what, what all that other stuff is about. You see that on you know, television. I'd love every to. If we were doing that, then I think we should do, uh, you know, galloping horses and really go the whole hog and really have an epic, you know, yeah. have, have them galloping through and have a big, you know, have the whole bit. But if it, if we are going a bit towards like the Beatles, I really think, you know, well, I thought of get it, in, really it? get the close-up lenses, man, get right into one of John's eyes. 
It's like a yeah, close-up. Can you, can you do that? You know, I mean, but I think that direction rather than trying to get a picture of John and the moon, you know, or a big amphitheatre. Because, you know, they don't, I don't really think that all the time. Anyway, you know, it's that thing. The world's dying to see them. Yeah, you know? the, the, the point is, I think that the, the, the Michael's way, you can do both. Yeah, and that way, your 52 minutes does sustain I've without never, the I have never problem. seen a study of any musical event. It's always been, you know, you want to be there. That's the thing. And if I were there, I'd be staring at them. I'd be staring. I would never look around me once. I'd be staring at them if I were sitting in the audience. It's like you say in the theater. So why can't the camera be you sitting there? If you're sitting at a concert, like I saw the last concert at Hammersmith, whatever the hell it was. And I was totally aware of, yeah, of not only them, but over here. Not only them, and, and you know, and they were forty miles away, but the audience that screams the lights. Look, at, we open. looked at Health the other night again, and like Hard Day's Night, and that was them playing. Right, but it was them over an hour and a it half in them. thirty thousand. Like if it is an Andy Warhol picture. Oh, that don't it, don't take the other extreme. I, I mean, Andy you. Warhol, I you know, that's not you. You know, that's not what they're saying. They're just. I'm speaking like a fan. I really too, am. And I know big, if I'm I were watching them on television. Yeah. Oh, okay. Should we uh, fight about yeah. that? <laughs> but I know. This is role 131. You know, I'm like, I'm Marine. She's a fan. Yeah. I mean, the first time I saw her was when she came to the studio one night, and she was just. Really I mean, the answer is I can. The answer is I can do it any way. But being the fan I am, I gotta keep saying I think you're all wrong. Well, uh, yes, but you want to be too sophisticated, and no, I don't oh, think I'm it has I'm so unsophisticated. Am I sophisticated? I really am. <laughs> am I sophisticated, please? Uh, we ran the circus the other night, and it's so simple. I mean, I'm the least pretentious <laughs> okay. you're going to meet. Okay, well, the thing is, it's that <laughs> character study that's heavy. The Wolper thing. It's so great because he does a study. You know, like... Yes, but to do a study, making you just of a don't president. sit on someone's face. The yeah, study you is do it right, though. You sit in somebody's face, but you do it right. Oh, you do. You know, it's like being a good photographer. You just get them. You know, it's clicking at the right minute. And you have to totally love and know the thing that you're doing to get that. It's like I can't photograph women very well, you know, because I don't like photographing women. Unless I think they're great. You know? As I said, like, like I'd I... love photographing Greta Garbo. <laughs> I can do it anyway, because I think part of being a director is... <laughs> just doing it. But you know, a few, but you know. I was going to say, there are only certain men I want to photograph. It says he's lighting his hand. <laughs> you see, Paul, I was saying to Linda when you were out that I can do it any way, except I got to keep saying you're wrong when I think you're wrong. Yes, sure. Great uh, well, I'll just keep saying I'm right when I think yeah, I'm right. Yeah, of course. Because otherwise, I abdicate both my fanship and also my. Uh, oh, not another strike. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you Look, know. Fellas, I'm off the show if you don't do it my way. I'm not moving that far. No, I, I thought the other day I might leave, but then I thought they won't notice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Janice, go <Sky> director. <coughs> Oh. Hmm. I'll let us do it, I think you've got to think of it. I don't know. I see my idea is totally to do with you and not to do with anything else. I just think yeah, we can do better than here. No, I and I think I can get into you much better there. And I think it'll it be Africa, more about you. Africa, wherever you're going, is Africa's it? Africa's yes, only. We, Africa just sounds like because we're English. You know, Africa was the country we colonized years ago. It could be. It, no, it, it's no, not listen, that it at all. It could be Brighton Beach. Africa's got nothing to do with it. It's yeah, just, Brighton.